you go into the water, you harness the power of the tank to float, and you have your own swimmer's buoyancy, and there's a wetsuit buoyancy. And when you're ready to dive, you reach behind you to this button that I just showed you, which the animation will do hopefully soon here. It's a slow animation. All right, here we go. So you reach for the button and you start it. We did it intentionally slow so you can see it. The bladder will compress. Water is flowing into the tank and it's compressing the bladder and you become slightly heavier, but you're neutral. That's the difference between this and standard. You don't become heavy, you're neutral. You swim down, just like a free diver swims down, except you have air. When you reach your max depth, you just hover there. And whoever's gonna participate um, in the red training will see that, because we're doing that. And you see, you swim down and you just stay where you are. You swim for a period of time. Usually that will be anywhere between 15 and 20 minutes. And Usually when you consume enough air, usually it's, it's between 500 grams and a kilogram of air, where your tidal volume is not enough to support that, you pump more water into the tank, but it's very subtle. The changes in buoyancy are much more subtle than they are with standard scuba. It, there's no forces that develop. You put more water in the tank to replace the amount of gas that you just consumed, and you continue diving. You go back to neutral buoyancy again. And again, the only change here to, to buoyancy is related to the amount of gas that is consumed from the tank. You swim up, you do your safety stop. As I said, when you stop, you just hover where you are because the zone is very wide or the zone of stable neutral buoyancy is very wide. So no more blown safety stops. And when you're done with the dive, you reach the surface and you open the purge valve and you let the water out. The importance of that is that, again, the bladder wants to expand because it's compressed. So it's decompressing now. When you open that purge, the bladder itself is what drives the water out of the tank. 